So my name is Sky Leon and I am studying a Bachelor of Arts Screen Production. My name is Lyndon Trescott and I'm studying the BA in Screen Production and I'm in my first year. My name is Tay Stevens and I'm studying a BA in Screen Production Year 1. Hello, my name is Wally Lewis. I'm currently studying a, a, a Bachelor of Arts in Screen Production at Arthurs. It's my third year now. Hi, I'm Eli Potter and I'm currently studying the BA and I'm in Year 3. My name is Daniel Wilson. I'm here at After studying the BA in screen production in YouTube. My name is Karen Meredith Creed and I'm studying the Bachelor of Arts Screen Production and I am in Year 2. Hi, I'm Bronte. I am studying the Bachelor of Arts Screen Production. I'm in Year 2. My name is Madison Coles. I'm studying the BA Screen Production and I'm in Year 3. My name is George. I'm studying the BA Screen Production and I'm in Year 3. What originally attracted me to Afters was uh, I studied previously at a different campus elsewhere in Australia, up in the Northern Territory, and the lecturer did speak quite highly of Afters as well as uh, a lot of the facilities that they do have here is, well, <laughs> let's say, next level to what I was studying with up there. The thing that attracted me to Afters was the fact that Afters has produced some really amazing Indigenous storytellers like Warwick Thornton and Rachel Perkins. I decided to apply because um, in my head I thought um, we need more um, storytellers out there that are Indigenous. Stories that are for Indigenous people but made by Indigenous people. So I went to a remote media festival in the Northern Territory and Afters was doing a short course and I was like really enjoying it and then meeting the mentor and she was like, you should come down to Afters. I was like, oh yeah, cool. Like I want to do more with myself and I want to like move away because I'm from Queensland. So I think the opportunity of moving down to Sydney and making something for myself was like the best decision. So yeah. I was attracted to Afters because I think that it's just a really good place to learn. I heard about it first and then I came here, I saw the resources and I was immediately grabbed that I wanted to be a part of this, that this is where I would have the resources to do what I needed to do and the stories I need to tell. I decided to apply because I felt like there was a chance that I could have a place here. Because I lived overseas for five years and then came back to Australia and was alarmed at some of what I was seeing in the media and hearing in I guess the zeitgeist of how people perceive reconciliation and Aboriginal issues and so that just continued to light my fire to want to tell stories about Australian history from an Aboriginal and Indigenous perspective and knowing that there is an Indigenous department here at this school really made me think that I would be taken seriously here. It did have a lot to do with my mum. She wanted to kind of encourage me to like get into this industry and have a go because I, I was always passionate about it but I just didn't know if I just had the skills to get into it. I decided to apply to Afters because to me it was looked like the best place to study filmmaking and just the way it's a really practical course and um, the experience you get from like the, all the teachers and tutors are in the industry out working and it's a lot more practical than just writing essays and things like that and that's kind of more my learning style, just doing things rather than just listening. I went to a few open days at other unis and none of them really got my attention like this open day did. I just really thought if I can't get to here then there's always other options but this was probably my top option so I thought I'd give it a shot and see how I go. I think the best thing so far um, at being afters and being an Indigenous student is the fact that we have Koori Club. Um, that's a really cool space, a safe space where we can connect with other Indigenous students from different year groups and different programs. I have a few friends who are also in the Koori Club as well and you always like kind of see them through your classes and it gives you just people that you automatically know as soon as you start here. I came from a high school that was very much in the Greek culture and a primary school that was all white. So coming to a university that had diversity and a love of quality and people that can match my experiences was really, really handy and just really, it was a really supportive community. I don't think you get treated any differently from any other student. It's just more that you get to see every other Indigenous student and you get to have that kind of like, just camaraderie, you know. 
we come from different areas around Australia and it's a lot to leave our communities, leave our families. So making such a big step for our careers and to tell our stories, it's good to have this community here at Afters, which is a family of its own. It's a good thing because we're all coming from like our own communities and a lot of us are leaving to pursue this dream. So like to come down and see that there's other Indigenous students, it's just like we have this form, this family, because we're all here for the same thing. We work as like a family. We all know the other Indigenous students here. And so when we're working on a story, I get the Indigenous people from the other years to work on it. We work on each other's. It's a really good sense of community here. Afters has the facilities as well as the equipment to help you realise sort of your aspirations or your dreams as well as the support network with the not just the Indigenous unit but also Afters as a whole with a lot of the, the lecturers as well as other students. They really work to have inclusivity within all their projects so they make sure they're always talking to us about having diversity in your cast and your crew and how it's important to portray characters that are from a diverse diverse backgrounds. So you're coming down here and you're like following the footsteps of like Rachel Perkins and Warwick and to be here you're just like wow I can achieve this. I think it's because we focus so much on Australian content that it is something that's very I feel it's very underrated at the moment especially in the outside world of afters. A lot of people here want to stay in this country and build up the film industry which is something I really respect. It gives you that platform, it gives you a chance to share your voice and share your community's voice and for Indigenous filmmakers, it's probably the best place to go. I think my first objective would be in the long term is to uh, get this uh, Bachelor in Arts, but ultimately I, I want to um, tell stories. I really want to get into documentary and like basically tell the stories that need to be told and bring issues to the, like that we need to talk about, like talk about mental health, talk about sexuality, even talking about sexual health, and also just bringing that to the forefront so we, as black fellas, can see what's going on and we can show and have this understanding of what these issues are and we can talk about this, like we don't need to be shamed. I've got a mini-series I'm developing at the moment about the life of my grandmother who is an amazing woman who grew up on a mission you know, during the Second World War um, and then was quite a fierce advocate for her community. My aspirations for Post Afters is to tell Indigenous stories. So whether that's collaborating with other Indigenous storytellers um, in um, hopefully a cinematography um, capacity would be yeah, something I'm really looking forward to. Afters is very much about telling your stories and sharing them. And when you're open and honest about it, that's that's what they're going to count. And it's not about, you know, how well-spoken you are or how smart you sound, but how you can tell a story. Don't do what um, you think they want you to do. Do what um, you already do naturally, and then they'll just appreciate your unique style. Just to tell people what brought you to this point in your life and what inspires you. And yeah, just be honest, be yourself. Have fun. You know, actually, like, throughout my entire application process, I just thought I wouldn't actually be able to get in because I was like, I never envisaged myself here. But I think, you know, just believe in yourself that you are worthy of coming to this school and the school will be able to see through your application, you know, um, your skills of being a storyteller. Me, personally, I didn't think that I would be accepted. I thought that maybe my my skills went up to par to, to apply here, but my basic thing was um, just take the shot, really. If you, if you don't apply, you're not going to know and you'll regret it for not taking that shot. Mm -hmm.